Hey, the scriptures say in uh, Peter's, I believe it's uh, 1 Peter's uh, 4, okay? If the righteous be scarcely saved, where do the uh, ungodly and sinner appear, man? That is heavy. Because we're just gonna just barely make it, man. Okay? That's why we gotta stay diligent. Exactly. We gotta stay diligent. We gotta constantly uh, have our minds set on coming out and teaching the word. Okay? And if we constantly uh, have our minds set on teaching this word and, and on studying, we, most likely the Lord's going to deliver us because we're, we're doing exactly what the Lord told us to do. Yeah. Huh. Somebody got Daniels? Second is 8 verse 50. It says, For many great miseries shall be done to them in the that in the latter time so dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Well in the world because they have walked in great pride, okay? Meaning like, like you can see like in the, uh, when, it, when it's cold outside, y'all, we always see less, less people out, okay? There are, there are less people that are willing to come out when it's cold outside. And there's naturally gonna be more people that are gonna be outside, you know, when it's warm outside, because we have more harsh conditions, okay? So if you're afraid to come out because of the temperature, if you're afraid to come up because of the temperature, you're not, you're not among the elect, okay? If you're, if you're afraid to come up because of the temperature, you're, you're, still, you're still dwelling in the world. You're thinking, you're thinking like a worldly man, okay? The scripture said, yeah, we're well, excuse because no, nobody's listening. The scripture said, put off mortal thoughts. Because nobody's listening, that's a, that's a mortal thought. Yeah, yeah. Con, con, don't, be a, don't be a hypocrite because, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll go out into the freezing cold and go, and go shopping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and do all that carnal ass shit, but you won't come out in the cold for a couple hours and prophesy the downfall of America, which is your duty as an Israelite man. All right. Well, I'm good, then. All right. Well, you're both gonna be put to death. Okay. And just like how you skin down people, are you skin that turn? I'm gonna skin both you and your bitch. Okay. That's right. That, fucking cracker. You and your bitch. All right. Yeah. Hey, and, man, and that's an example. That dude's gonna suffer many great miseries, and the Lord is gonna give the elect spiritual power to put that hell, okay? And that's gonna be the vengeance of the Lord, man. The Lord's gonna put His spirit of anger upon us to deal with these fucking demons, man. These two-third fucking niggas and uh, all these nations walking up and down these streets that weren't smart enough to go back to their own lands. And don't even matter if they do, because they're gonna be running up and enslaved any damn way. But that devil got fucking, all these people got great pride. Is it coming tomorrow? <laughs> well, you better go for your sake, it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they take this, they take this, they, they take this to be a, a joke or something. Like this is fucking twilight up here or something. All right? This ain't no fucking fantasy. This is reality. And it's funny how they, 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 all, they automatically know what, what, what we're talking about, yeah, right? Huh? <laughs> it's, in, it's within their spirit, man. They know. You know what, you know what the prophets, you know? You're gonna, you're gonna say in your mind one day when, when you're getting the, the back whip, you know, before the kingdom, I mean, when you're in the concentration camps, okay? When you don't have any food in your house, when your kids are starving, yep. you're gonna say them crazy niggas with them signs, you know, they had the truth. Yep. The crazy guys that had them signs, you know, they, they were telling the truth about the martial law, okay? They were telling the, they, they were telling the truth about the spiritual power, okay? You see certain of us flying in the air, you know? Uprooting trees and beating and stomping the uh, Edomites and two thirds with them. Yeah, if I may say something, I'm gonna share something with y'all, okay? Um, my mom, she had a, a dream about a, uh, about a year ago, how um, basically everything around her was surrounded in fire, okay? But she wasn't hurt and she was down on her hands and knees. And what she said was, in her mind, she said, she should have listened to me. She should have listened to me. And she tried to warn the, uh, you know, the family on her side and said, oh, we should all listen to him. He was right, he was right. Meanwhile, everything's burning around her, but she said that herself, she wasn't touched. That's a spiritual dream, man. Because America, America's gonna be completely engulfed in fire, man. And these people are gonna be thinking about everything that we said when all hell is breaking loose. That's why it says that then it shall be known there was a prophet among them. Because everything that we're telling you in the spirit of Yahweh Shigao Shai is gonna come to pass, man. This destruction is inevitable. It's just, it's just a matter of time, man. 
It's just a matter of time before the Lord gets the angels to go ahead to release them vials of destruction. But you people, you can continue, you know, you going out to eat and going shopping, you know, signing your, getting, taking your kids out of public school because you think charter schools are better, you know, all that bullshit. Yeah, you can believe, believe in the, the, the wisdom of the world, man, which the Lord said is foolishness with him because you ain't learning a goddamn thing but how to be a good fucking slave. Yep, you preparing yourself to, yeah, you preparing yourself for concentration camps. Right. If I can say this, I mean, that's what, that's, these people want like an exact day and when this is supposed to happen or something like that. The devil said, is it going to happen tomorrow? And I'm like, well, I'll, I just kind of well, give it a Because, you, know you know what, you know why they had that yeah, fucking yeah. attitude, man? Oh, well, if it's not coming tomorrow, then I guess I still got time to be a demon. Exactly. That's your, exactly. That's, that's, that's your mindset. That's why they want to know a day, so they know how long, how long they had to be wicked. wicked. How long they be wicked? Yeah, and that's like the same they, time. How long they got to be wicked? Right during the times of Noah. Noah didn't know the time. No, no, when the flood was coming, but he knew a flood was coming. And those people didn't believe uh, Noah. But guess what? The flood came, and pe as people were still eating and drinking, okay, like like the scriptures say, and they what? They were washed up. They were killed. He thought he was a real big guy. And yeah, no. In front of his wife, right? Yeah, <laughs> a tough he guy. Oh, then, oh, then, then, I guess stuff. I'm good then, right? Yeah, oh what? Just because just because just you're one more day you in know, America? You know they kept that a lot of a lot of pep in stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> kept kept moving. <laughs> yeah. Trying to get some acid. Yep. That bitch probably gonna leave his ass after the night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He kept his ass walking too. He sped up a couple miles per hour. <laughs> says for many great miseries shall be done to them in a letter. That in the latter time so go out in the world because they have walked in great pride. Yo, that's like a third fish man I see this girl. Least third. But understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. For unto you is paradise open, the tree of life is planted, the time is come, the time to come is prepared, plenteousness is made ready, a city is built and rest is allowed, yea perfect goodness and wisdom. The root of evil is sealed up from you, weakness in the mouth is hid from you, and corruption is fled into hell to be forgotten. Sorrows are... Yeah, what does the scripture say? We're supposed to what? Put off the corruptible man? That we're supposed to be dead to sin? That's what it's explaining, man. Yeah, and it says, it says, it says, it says yeah. seek out the glory. How do you seek out the glory? What is the glory? The glory is the true knowledge of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. So that's what that's what you're supposed to be seeking. If you want an education, you're supposed to be getting it in the truth, not going to the damn enemy, man. The only thing you should, uh, uh, the only mindset you should have when it comes to the world is how you can use it, man. That's it. Use it so you can get from day to day. That's it. Ba basic necessities of life. That's it. Use it, but don't abuse it, okay? Or or, or basically to, to to become comfortable in this society. And, and start getting uh, 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 comfortable, okay? Have them thoughts basically overthrow your judgment. Say, oh, well, now, you know, I got a good job now, you know? Some of my problems are going away, you know, I'm caught up on my bills. You know, you start to become comfortable, man. You might, Satan get in your head, you might want to start pursuing other aspects of this world, man. The only thing you should be concerned with is, is the truth, all right? So, you, you, you Use the world. Animals. Yeah, you, you keep what you do out in the world limited. You use this world. It's not abusing it or to become comfortable to where your your your, your judgment's being overthrown, man. You never let your guard down. That's why uh was it Bob? Uh, is it in Peter's the fourth chapter where it says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary walketh about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Is it fit? Five and eight? All right, so you gotta be sober and vigilant, man. You gotta be on the ready. You gotta be on the up and up, for lack of a better term, man. And that, that's what you see us doing. The elders, okay, first and foremost, starting with them, going out, enduring, okay, doing what you can. Really putting everything, everything that you have in this thing. What you got, brother? All right, uh, <coughs> uh, yeah, hold up. Right, go ahead, Psalms 40 and 4. Blessed is the man that maketh the Lord his trust, mm -hmm. and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. So you gotta withdraw yourself from unbelievers, man, whether it be your family, 
friends, whatever, man. You gotta withdraw them, withdraw yourself from them, okay? Because you you can't you can't afford to have anything there in your life that could eventually become a stumbling block for you to further your knowledge, okay? Whether it be a job, whether it be a, 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 a your woman, whether it be your mom, your pop, or whatever, man, okay? And uh, there's a saying, I'm probably not going to say it right, but there's a saying, basically, you you are who you hang out with, man. You know? You are who your friends are, so to speak. If your friends are fucking wicked, right, you're most likely going to be wicked. Okay? That's why you got to stick with brothers, man. You got to stick with those that are actually in the truth. All right? Description. Hey, uh... Oh, oh you are you are you are the company you keep. I yeah, believe that's the saying. You 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 are the company you keep. All right. So you that's why the Lord always says to the prophets, man, to attain unto wise count counsels. Okay. So we get our counsel from the elders. Okay. Who we believe to be men of the Lord, and are being guided through the Spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai our Lord. Just like we believe to also be guided, man. And we're all part of one body. Okay. We work in unison for the same purpose. Sirach 37 and 12. But be continually with a godly man mm. whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. Perfect. And the godly man is somebody who teaches the commandments but keep, keeps them themselves. Puts themselves in check. Okay. Understands uh, uh, righteous judgment. And is a good discerner of good and evil, man. Because we're all... The Lord is basically instilling all of us to be leaders because there is probably going to come a time where, you know, this camp is going to break up into sec sections, man. This brother's going to have to leave one section of the camp. This brother's going to have to leave another section. I'm going to have to go and lead another section so we can uh, expand, expand the brotherhood, man, or reach out to the elect. So we're all being made leaders here. Read that again. What do you have? Oh, no. Sirach 37 and 12. But be continually with a godly man huh. whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord, whose mind is according to thy mind. Yeah, whose mind is according to thy mind. Okay, you can't be with somebody who, who, who's wicked, man, or, 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 or disbelieves in the things that, for the, yeah, that, that, that you're supposed to be upholding, man. Because they might... Them demons on them might seep into you, man. Start overthrowing your judgment. Then you contemplate whether you, you know, all you know. Yeah, you start, you start making compromises. This thing is not about compromises when it comes to to the world, man. You make compromises in the truth, as far as you know, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, basically giving up certain things, making sacrifices. Is the word I was looking for, okay? So you can further the truth, but you don't compromise niggas out in the world so you, to, as, it, as to prevent you from doing this, okay? Yeah, it says, have no respect of persons. Huh. Yes. So you got somebody that don't believe in the same that you believe, you gotta <laughs> deal with them as less as, as less as possible, if not cut them off completely, depending on whatever the situation or case may be. But you don't need that negative bullshit uh, hindering you from doing the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Which is why you had the scripture in Revelations, the third chapter, man. The Lord ain't dealing with anybody who's uh, lukewarm. You're either cold or you're hot. Okay? <clears throat> Got that scripture. Go ahead. Uh, take your foot off. <laughs> 1 Corinthians 1 verse 10. Now I beseech you uh, by the name of our Lord Yahweh Shah that you all speak the same thing, that there be no divisions among you. Come, so we all got to speak the truth, man. We all got to speak the truth. And we all got to be uh, 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 diligently seeking the scriptures so we can all properly break down the scriptures. Okay? This, this brother can't be teaching Cornelius as a Japhite 
okay, when he's really an Israelite, you know? You can't have div divisions among the camp. That camp is not, is gonna fall apart, you know? You gotta keep everybody in check. And that's, that's, that's why the elders basically go into how you gotta have a, a head of the camp, okay? You have first head, second head, and third head. First in command, second in command, and third in command, all right? So you gotta have order within your own camp. Read that again. It says, now I beseech you by the name of our Lord Yahweh Shah, that you all speak the same thing and that there be no divisions among you. Right, so we gotta keep each other in check, all right? 